Sean, June gloom was <laughs> around for a couple days, but today, no sign of it. It was gone by about 9 30, 10 o'clock. We had mostly sunny skies, even out to the beaches, Marcella, and that pushed temperatures above average for the downtown area. 72 degrees. Now the 30 year average would be 70 and uh, definitely going to get even warmer than that as we get into the weekend and into next week. We're upper 70s in the inland microclimate, 78 in Escondido as well as Valley Center, 77 in El Cajon and Ramona. Out in the deserts, though, they still were enjoying below 100 degree temperatures, albeit only two degrees <laughs> below at 98. It was 69 at Julian along with Palomar Mountain, 67 in Oceanside, and 69 in Chula Vista. Here's the forecast for tomorrow's temperatures and we continue to stay above average out in the desert. though, you get a little reprieve here with a, a 96, but everyone mid to upper 70s coastline, upper 60s to low 70s. So another warm one on tap for us. That's because high pressure is slowly building into the weekend and with less of a marine layer into next week, we'll see warming take place much quicker and the deserts. They're going to get incredibly hot starting Monday. I'll show you why that's happening. One of my favorite shots here from our Mount Soledad cam looking down towards Black's Beach and uh, the Torrey Pines Glider Port. 68 degrees right now in northwest are your winds at 10 miles per hour. Humidity at 63%. It is a lovely evening across the Sierra Nevada. 55 in Truckee right now. San Joaquin Valley has cooled down to 78 in Fresno. That's not bad. And the deserts, pretty much all locations are under 100 degrees. 91 in Las Vegas, 97 in Phoenix, and Tucson at 95. Uh, Marcella mentioned it very little in the way of a marine layer and it what little there was evaporated out so it gave us mostly clear skies. We have this weak area of low pressure that is transitioning into the northern Rockies and watch as it does. It kicks on out. High pressure builds in over the desert southwest that it starts to expand as we get into the weekend and on into next week. That area of low pressure it's deflected by that 71, 72, 73 coastal. We're into the low 80s by Friday. Everyone bumps up a couple more degrees mid 70s for the inland mic or the coastal climates and the inland microclimates. You'll be pushing into the mid 80s. Check these temperatures out though in the desert. It quickly warms into the low 100s and by the time we get to the first part of the work week, 116 on Tuesday. Let's take a look at that weather quiz here and an EF5 tornado produces wind speeds over what? 140 miles per hour, 200 miles per hour, 250 miles per hour. The limit does not exist. Go to CBS8.com weather quiz to make your selection. You could win a deluxe two night staycation in Funner, California. Isn't all of California Funner, but specifically at <laughs> Harrah's Resort Social uh, here in SoCal in a luxury suite plus a $300 resort credit. God, they got great food out there too. This prize is sponsored by Corky's Pest Control. Watch for a new weather quiz question every weekday on this show and our 7 a.m. newscast.